for the past several years, people have been working with two bands linked together. The problem is they're not monitoring how far their athletes are stretching the band. And I thought today what I would do is show you a perfect example of that and then help you out if this happens to you, how you can go ahead and eliminate the problem and then also how you can come in and rectify it so that it never has to happen to you in the future. So as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to zoom in a little bit. You can see how this link has gotten so tight that now you can't get it apart by rolling it out like I've showed you how to do it before. So what are you going to do about that? Well, unfortunately what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go ahead and break it loose. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use a flathead screwdriver. Now here's the danger of this. The danger is you're going to cut your band as you work through it. So what you have to do is when you look at the band, you're going to see that there's going to be one end where it's rolled over and it's nice and wide and it's rolled over on the two ends. I know you can't see it perfectly here, but if I flip it over, you're going to see that it's very tight on this side and there's the two ends there and there. So if I roll this, it's not going to go ahead and do anything. But if I roll this side, I'm going to be able to break it loose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the screwdriver and I'm going to work it through as safely as I can and get it through the other side. So now you can see that I've got the screwdriver through the band. I'm going to get it through as far as I have to so that when I turn it, I'm able to break it loose. And it may take a couple of times to get it to turn. But once I get it to turn, now I can go ahead and roll it loose. So now you can see I've broken it loose. So now I can go ahead, turn it again, and I'm just going to keep rolling the band so that I loosen it up. And that's how you're going to go ahead and have to break those loose. So I'm going to go ahead, let this one, because now I can easily break it loose. We'll widen out the screen a little bit, and I'll get this one loose for you. But then I want to show you, I want to show you why and you don't want this to happen and how this is going to tear up your band. So we got that one loose, okay? Now we'll go ahead. A couple things I want you to see with this is number one, I'm going to show you, I'm going to zoom in here, and I want you to see how the ends of the bands, right here where my thumbs are, you can see how they've gotten all cut up and beat up now because the band was tight for that reason. Now we're going to zoom back out again for a second. I'll grab a second pair here, and you'll be able to see it even more as you zoom in on here. You can see, as you cut in here, you can see how the edges of the band and the layers of the band have been cut up and um, ground up because of the tightness of that link. That's what's going to happen with your bands and how we're going to go ahead and remedy that. Well, the first thing you want to do is you need to monitor your athletes and your clients as they're training so that they're not going ahead and taking this too far. The second thing that you have to do is bands are going to get wet sometimes and if they do get wet, that link can slide together quicker and easier and get tighter. Understandably, there's not much you can do sometimes when bands get wet, especially if you're training outside. So that said, what you need to do is you need to monitor that closely. Now, this problem has happened to me essentially never in the past 10 to 12 years. I've had one episode where I let college athletes go ahead and train too aggressively and I wasn't monitoring them and that exact same thing happened to me. So outside of that, I've never had this happen because we monitor closely when the athletes train and that's what you need to do as well. However, if you want to, and I understand that this is a situation that's going to occur, so that's why we developed the link strap. Now the link strap allows you to go ahead, come in, wrap the bands together, and eliminate having to actually hook the bands together physically. Now as I go ahead and finish this out, I'm going to spread the band apart and we'll show you what I mean. Now as I zoom in here again, you can see that the band is not linked together. So therefore, it's not even touching itself. That said, now you can go ahead and train in a double link system. And as a result of that, you're going to go ahead and not damage your band. All you have to do is slide this link to different aspects of the band while you're training with it so that you go ahead and keep the wear and tear on the band minimal. But when looking at what a tight link does, you can see that this link strap is going to be much more effective at going ahead and protecting your bands long term. The last thing I want to note about that is when you go ahead and you link bands together, the physical way we've done it in the past, understand that now you created a situation here 
that has increased tension. And so when you train with the band, when you train with the band in this situation, this link is going to absorb a little bit more tension. It's going to be a tighter point in the system. The tighter that link gets, the more the band is going to go ahead and create that tightness at that point, and therefore the tension on that point of the band is going to get greater, which is why you get this tearing of the band. You cannot continue to train with that linked up band system. You need to get the bands apart. You need to get them so that they can relax, loosen up a little bit, and then re-link them back together. Or better yet, go ahead, get a link strap, like so, and eliminate that problem completely. So I hope that's helped you out a little bit in getting those tight links apart the one time and only time. Hopefully you won't need to be doing that regularly, but if you are, you need to go to a link strap and you need to start utilizing those a lot more.